Hey everyone, welcome back to Mod Life Season 2! Space Life. And since the last episode, I've done a little bit of decoration. <laughs> and just decided to kind of go with the cyan stained clay look. I really like the way it, it works with the uh, tin decoration blocks. I've also went ahead and separated these two rooms off and kind of started working with the design with the uh, stone slabs. I do like the way that looks. So I might incorporate that um, in other parts of the space station. Um, but today, before we get started, let's go ahead and make ourselves um, some power armor. So we're going to need ourselves a tinker table. All right, let's see what we need for you. Tinker. All right, power armor tinker table. All right, so I should have some emeralds. I'm going to need an electronic circuit, which I should have, a basic machine casing. I should have it. There we go. Power armor tinker table. We're going to put that guy right here in the middle, I think. Maybe right there. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it there for now. I'll let it grow on me. But uh, another thing I want to make is a door for here as well. So let's see what kind of doors we do have. Uh, we don't have a lot of doors to choose from. We got the iron door and then the reinforced door, which I believe is from Industrial Craft. So iron plates and lead plate. All right, we'll make both and we'll see which one we like. So let's see, iron. Let's go ahead and make a regular iron door. And we should have the iron plates. Let's grab those. And we should have some lead. Do we have a. I think we have a hammer in our bag. Yep, right there. Alright, we need, what, three of these? I think so. Yeah. Alright, no! Ah! Yeah, darn it! <laughs> That rapier always gets me. All right, there we go. So there is a reinforced door, and there's an iron door. So let's do the iron door first because we know that we can break this down pretty easily. All right, that does not look bad. It doesn't look bad at all, but it kind of makes it feel like it's a house just because of these these uh, four uh, little holes in the door. So let's take that off. Hmm. See, I like this one better, but the color is just not amazing. <laughs> I don't know. I could probably work with that. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll go with that one for now. All right, let's go ahead and go with a couple stone pressure plates. Make sure we don't shift click, because then I'll make an entire stack, something we don't need. There we go. Yeah, that'll work for now. Cool, I like it. So, the control room's coming along nicely. I am enjoying it. Now, I was thinking, I don't know if I want to put it on this wall, or if I want to put it on this wall, or maybe around our crafting monitor here. But I'm thinking about adding in some um, Industrial Craft 2 machines uh, for just random items if I need. I'm not going to, like, um, do crazy things to them or anything, or make some crazy versions of the IC2 machines. I just need some basic... I see two machines, and I went ahead and actually already made a few up. I got the compressor. I have a electric furnace. Um, already had an extractor. Um, just a few of the basic things, just in case we need some of those items. Now I know soon I'm probably going to be making a energy storage room, suggested by some of you, and I think I'm going to probably put it right here, probably connecting from this tunnel here. Um, that way. I can run power from there to our control room here. That way we can also run the power to the entire space station. Um, I think that'll stay by itself maybe because we don't have anything else down there and that could pretty much take care of itself. I don't know. We'll see. Depending on how we run it, I guess. Alright, so I want to make up a helmet because I don't have one. <laughs> so let's make up a power armor helmet. Alright, and we're going to need a reinforced, or not reinforced, but refined iron ingots and two electronic circuits. Easy enough. Oh, uh-oh. We're going to need more electronic circuits soon. Not good. Um, Alright, let's see what we can add on to this guy. Alright, energy. Alright, good. Airtight seal. So we can also add the <laughs> oxygen mask that we already have. 
um, oh, not taking it off in space, of course, but we can actually add it by just using a piece of glass, and then we can take off the other oxygen mask. So let's do that. Stall. Done. Good. All right, so we can just take off. Actually, we can put that on and take this one off, and we're just fine. And it'll actually draw the oxygen from our tanks with our suit. Actually, <laughs> that module onto my suit with the little um, satellite dish on my head actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> I like that. All right, what else can we add to this? Night vision. Eh, I don't really need that. Flight control. I don't know if that's actually going to work with what I have, which is my jetpack. And the reason why I'm uh, sticking with my jetpack is because it's... I feel like the hover mode on it is perfect for space. Like, it's not super powerful, so I do like that. Um, plus, I don't have enough to actually, you know, upgrade to the uh, jetpack on the power armor suit. So, uh, that's another reason why I'm not going to be using that right now, because I don't have the ender pearls to pay for it. Um, I guess there's really no other add-ons for this right now except for just some batteries and armor. And I could just add some normal armor to this. Probably just some iron. Because I'm not too worried about that. So let's do iron plating. Where's it at? Oh, there it is. Basic plating, gotcha. So we need refined iron ingots and electronic circuit. That's our last one. And we'll just install that for now. Just for a little armor, even though we're not really worried about it right now. But uh, it'll give us a little extra armor for the time being. All right, good. And, hmm. I would like to hold on to the meteorite stuff for now because I do like the whole magnetization thing. And I like my long fall boots. Pretty sure we don't have any other type of jetpack, yeah. So, this will just have to suffice for now. I think that'll be okay. Alright, so what I want to work on today is actually getting down to some more thermal expansion. Um, we're running out of oil, and I don't want to use all of my oil for powering our thermal expansion stuff, because I want it for, you know, traveling with our, our rocket and such. So, I'm going to start working on a couple different things for power. We are going to need probably two more pulverizers. So let's make up two more machine frames. Uh, let's make up a couple more reception coils. Flint, copper, and pistons. We should have everything, right? Yeah, there we go. Two more pulverizers. Good. All right. And what else? I think I'm going to need a magma crucible. We need one of you. Oh. That could be an issue. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Actually, I think I might have some netherrack. I don't know if I brought any along or not. Yeah, because I ain't got any nether bricks. I don't even have any netherrack. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> this could be bad. Because I do need a magma crucible. Hmm for what I want to do. I'm actually slightly worried. I'm thinking about making a nether portal, but I don't think it's going to work here on the space station. And if it does, it might make the game explode. But you know what I say to that? I say testing is worth it. So we're going to try it. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. If it breaks, um, then it breaks. Maybe I should make a backup of the world first. I might do that. <laughs> Alright guys, give me just a second. I'm going to make a backup of the world. Hold on. Alright guys, and we're back. So, Flint and Steel also went ahead and made me a bed real quick. Uh, let's head down. <laughs> just to be safe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my, um, my rocket and stuff. Uh, because if this actually does work, it might take us back to the nether that we already had um, created, which is probably a good possibility, and if it does, it might take us back to Earth. So if that happens, I want to make sure I have everything needed to get us back to our space station. That way we don't have to remake everything. All right, there we go. 
Let's do some testing. Alright, so I've been meaning to test to see if the bed actually works on the space station. Okay. Sun is up, though. So, you can only sleep at night. So, I don't know. That's a good sign. The fact that it hasn't blown up yet. Let's go replace our oxygen tanks real quick, too. Do, 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 do. You and you. It's uh, kind of a shame that these don't actually uh, switch out easier. That would be nice. It'd be cool if you could just like right click and it just switches them out, but that's fine. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly make a uh, nether portal right here. Now, if this thing doesn't light, that means this will not work. Um, wait, what am I doing? Now, I have a feeling it's probably not going to work, which is okay. It's fine. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, let's see. Do you work? Yeah, if that doesn't light, that's not going to work. Um, now, some of you guys might say, well, Bentley, there's no fire in space. I understand. <laughs> but still, right-clicking on this, um, if it was going to work, should still ignite it. Um, yeah. Alright, well, that was uh, worth a shot, I guess. So, magma crucible. I guess we'll just have to jump down to Earth. And maybe pick up some netherrack real quick. I might just do that and uh, see you guys back here in a minute. Alright guys, we're back on our Earth base. And, uh, well, I decided to go ahead and pop on real quick to grab a couple of our empty tanks for these empty drums over here. I think I'm going to try filling these up with lava. I think that might be a nice little backup source. Um, I got a little pump system in the nether set up for us, and I will try to go ahead and see about filling these up with lava. This one needs some too. Let's do that. In fact, let's go ahead and see about making a couple extra drums. I don't know if I have all the iron on me to do this. So, yeah, I don't even know if I have any iron here. Fred, be quiet! Oh, we do have a little bit of iron left. Good, 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 good. Um, so I need, like, hmm, we'll make, like, two of you... And how many of these do we actually need? Let's do that. Then I think we need it like this. The weighted pressure plates like so. Cauldron there. That'll give us more drums. Good. All right, so I'm going to try and fill these five drums up with lava. And I think I already have some nether rack and some nether brick in my network. There we go. And I could actually collect some with my hammer, if I'm not mistaken. It might auto-smelt the um, netherrack already with my hammer. Oh, careful there. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. In fact, actually, it's easier because it's got fortune on it, so it, like, doubles it. Well, that's an easy way to get nether brick. <laughs> wow, that is easy. Oh, nice. This hammer is amazing. So I could just sit here and do this. My inventory will be full in no time. And I could probably use these for some building blocks on my space station, too. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some nether brick here. And I'm going to quickly hook up these drums to this little pump system I got set up over here and fill them up. So that's going to start filling up with lava. I should have some extra pipes in here. To just go ahead and fill all of these up with. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and collect some nether rack and some nether brick. Um, nether brick. And we'll be right back. See you guys back on the space station. Alright guys, and we're back. So, I just checked. It is daytime out. It's actually midday, so we're going to give that a try in a minute. should probably actually do another backup because uh, these uh, lava drums took a little while to fill up. Um, I also went ahead and grabbed some jungle saplings. Um, might wind up trying to grow some jungle trees for some wood to make charcoal later on. So let's put those in there as well. 
Now, Lava, I think I'm probably going to be using you as a backup. So we'll just put you in there for now. Um, but we do need to make up our Magma Crucible. So I put all of my Nether Brick in my bag here. Ooh, darn it, that sword. <laughs> I think I might just get rid of that because I'm probably not going to be using that a whole bunch here on my space station. Um, I also went ahead and grabbed some Nether Brick and actually came into contact with a little bit of Quartz. So we'll throw that in there as well. Alright, so Magma Crucible, come here. I need you. Alright, so we have our nether brick now. I think all we're missing is the machine casing. Good. Alright, there we go. Machine casing and our Magma Crucible. So we got a pulverizer. We have... Um, I made an extra one. I'll show you guys why in a minute. Um, this one is for our Magma Crucible. Alright, good. And what else do we need? Wow, 11,000 cobblestone. Okay, I need to fix that real quick. <laughs> it's a little too much cobblestone, I think. Get that back in you. There we go. That's better. <laughs> How much? Oh, wow, we have over 1100 compressed and over 1200 double compressed cobblestone so that's probably a little bit over hmm 110,000 cobblestone quite a bit and our quarry is still working all good all right so do we have the item ducks in here we have leadstone energy conduits probably going to need some of those so what do we need to make those? Lead, glass, and redstone. Should have everything. We'll make up just a few. Um, probably going to try to work on making the uh, upgraded version of that today as well. Um, this whole <laughs> uh, episode here is to try to get ourselves a um, upgraded energy cell and upgrade our energy conduits with a, uh, another power source because I don't want to use my oil. Alright, yep. Oil's emptied out in here. As you can see, it's slowly draining out, I guess. We're done with the gold I put in there. Good. So that's empty, which means we can get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of you. And compression dynamo. Yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and get rid of you. That's not a, a lot of oil. In fact, that's under a bucket's worth anyway. So we'll just get rid of you. Actually, there we go. And I don't think we're going to need an aqueous accumulator for this. So let me just fill that in. And pick you up. I don't know. We might. What was I going to use? Right. <laughs> I think I actually am going to be using the um, compression dynamo. Kind of uh, lost myself there for a second. All right. Let's grab our portal gun. I'm going to put a portal there just to make this easier. Um... I think maybe next episode we'll see about getting a um, wireless system hooked up for us. And we'll put a portal there. Good, so now we can travel back and forth quickly and easily. Alright. I'm going to make up one more, I think, compression dynamo. Because I believe these produce, what, 40? About 40 MJ? Or not MJ, but RF. <laughs> it's going to take me a little bit probably to get used to that. Alright, we should have everything to make another compression dynamo. There we go. Alright, now I need some coal. We have over 3,000 pieces of coal, so I'm just going to take a good stack of that. Alright guys, well I think I'm probably going to put my aqueous accumulator back here. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. I thought that actually went outside. I thought it was a little bit further away than that. Okay, I guess not. Um, I'll probably just put them over here then. Because we are going to need our aqueous accumulator. I thought I was going to go with a different version of uh, fuel, but I changed my mind. Alright, so we got our aqueous accumulator. Going to need some water. So, do I have my buckets on me? No buckets. No buckets. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we'll just grab a few. Actually, one will be fine. We got our um, water tank right there. In fact, I probably might move that water tank over. Um, let's see. Let's do that, 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 
and this. And that way we can put our water on the sides. In fact, yep, yeah, like I said, let me bring that with me. I think I'm going to put that on top of the aqueous accumulator. Actually, I don't know. Ah, no! That's not good. <laughs> There's water draining down to earth right now. Um, can I, like, not flip this thing around? I thought you could. Alright, I guess not. Alright, well, I guess what I'm going to do is just pick them back up, and we're going to put them right there, then. Because I want to see if I can't take this drum and put it right there on top. So that should start filling up the drum. Close that off. Close this off. Now, I'm not worried about sealing this room either. Not right now. And then here, we're going to have the liquid ducts come out. So that's what we're going to do there. Let's grab our compression dynamos. We're going to place these guys probably right here, I think. I think that might be a good spot. Let's grab our fluid ducts. There we go. Connect those together. These guys should fill up with water. Good, good. Alright, not too bad. And leadstone energy pipes there. Or, um, <laughs> um, conduits, I'm sorry. And then those will come up this way. Hmm, actually, I think I might do that. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Alright, now, this is where the fun comes in. We're going to grab our pulverizer. And we're going to put this guy... Hmm. I think we might put him right there. And then the magma crucible. Right there. Alright, so these guys are filling up with power. Good. And we're going to probably send that out into there. So let's grab some more fluid ducts. Good. I got plenty. And we'll connect the magma crucible up to these two compression dynamos. Just like that. Alright, so that is outputting on that side. Good. Um, do I need a... Yeah, there we go. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be inputting from the left side. We're going to be outputting there. We can turn the rest of these off. Now, eventually I might hook this up to my um, AE network, but for now I think this will be alright. So we're just going to put some coal in there. The coal is going to turn into pulverized coal, which will send into the magma crucible and turn into liquefied or uh, liquefacted coal. Sorry, <laughs> And that's going to produce us power. So that's what we're going to be using for our power source for the time being. And uh, I was looking, apparently this stuff actually lasts a decent while, so um, I believe one piece of coal was enough to actually fill, um, I don't remember if it was halfway or full, uh, in the, just the compression dynamo itself, so um, it's going to work just fine, I think. Uh, we'll just leave it like that for now, that it'll sustain us with a decent amount of power, I think, for the time being, and... Let's see, power's still going down, but that's probably just because it's filling up the magma crucible. Now, how much power can actually go through these? 80 RF, and these are producing 40 each, so that should work. Yeah. Alright, that'll work. Alright, and I went ahead and made the other pulverizer, because we're going to put this guy on top of our um, induction smelter here. Just like that. So we'll have one made for our uh, furnace just to do ores. And we'll have one set up for just our induction smelter. So the pulverizer we're going to want to set up to send out stuff to the bottom. And cancel the rest of these out. Set the top to blue. And we'll have this accept items on the top. So we want green. And I might set up the right side purple and then the bottom will be our export right 
I don't know, we might set up the right side to be export. Actually, no, if we do the bottom, I think the bottom would be fine, because we'll have this set up eventually to the bottom as well. Yeah, that'll work. So now we should be able to start producing ourselves up some decent energy conduits. So let's see what we need for those. Alright, so redstone energy conduit. Of course, we could just use the hardened energy conduits. But what do we need for the redstone energy conduits? Those produce or transfer 10,000 RF per tick. So we just need a regular redstone energy conduit and then we fill it with a uh, destabilized redstone. So we need electrum, which I believe we have, and we just need to get some hardened glass going. So we need lead and. What is it? Pulverized obsidian? Alright, good. We got that on us. We just need our lead. Let's grab half a stack. We'll get some more of that made up eventually. And pulverizer. So, we'll have the pulverizer start pulverizing that. That'll automatically pull down into the green slot here, producing us up some. It should, unless they change the recipe. How do you make hardened glass? One lead dust and eight. Okay, so yeah. It's just going to take a little bit more obsidian, that's all. Alright, so there we, we got some hardened glass coming in. Nice, we should have some electrum made up already. I think. Yeah, we have a little bit. And we'll combine that with this. Hmm, do I want that many? Yeah, why not? We'll do that. That'll work. And we'll grab some redstone, good stack of you, and now we need our fluid, or liquid transposer, sorry. Man, I'm getting all sorts of confused today. Actually, or is it a fluid transposer now? It is. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, maybe my mind is not playing tricks on me. Maybe it's just thinking ahead. That works. Alright, so redstone and you. Wait, what am I missing now? Oh, a bucket. Easy enough. There we go, fluid transposer. Alright, actually, I believe we're gonna need another magma crucible too, so let's go ahead and make one of those up. So we have one made up for producing energy, now we need one for making like other things like the uh, redstone energy cells, the conduits, that kind of stuff. Plus, there's some other neat stuff we'll probably get to eventually as well. So what am I missing here? Another one of you, and another bucket. Darn it, where's my... Didn't I make one of those? I am going crazy. At least it's easy to craft. There we go. Magma Crucible. Alright, and... Hmm. <laughs> this is where things are going to kind of start to get a little cramped. Wait a minute. So the power's not going down there. This is getting filled up. In fact, actually, this is done filling up. This is done producing the liquefacted coal. And this should last a little while. So that is producing power. It's slowly going up. No, oh, it's slowly going down. Ah, darn it! Stupid. Alright, that one's empty. It's kind of like going up and then going down. Okay, I think it's probably just because these machines were working. Alright. That's fine. Alright, now we just need to hook up these guys. So I think we'll probably expand this out going this way. So we're going to need to Let's open you up. Put our magma crucible on top. Fluid transposer on the bottom. And probably going to have to run this down. Check my jetpack, we're good on power. And let's do an energy cell. This is just for a minute until we start getting these other energy conduits made up. There we go, power should be making its way into here. Good, good. All right, put a stack of redstone in you. I'll start slowly working and we can go and put these redstone energy conduit empties in there. Um, See, we'll have that send down that way. And we'll have it accept it from the top. So blue coming in. Good. Now we have ourselves some redstone energy conduits. Nice. And 
Now I gotta do is start closing all of this stuff off, so let's pick you up. And we'll take this and put that into our network soon. Don't need that up there anymore. Probably gonna be making up some ME interfaces and some more... Oh, that's cool. I love the graphics on that. And some more ME cables to uh, stretch over here. Um, I think once we get our energy room set up, which I'm probably going to put right in here, uh, we'll try to connect an ME cable from our network up there down here to our thermal expansion area. I think that'll work out just fine. This is looking good. We have 13 so far. We'll just go ahead and leave this open for now. That way we can work back here. Now, how much can this transfer? This can transfer 400 RF per tick. All right, let's go ahead and start replacing some of these. We should have enough to start replacing most of these. There we go. Five left. Let's do these out here. Yeah, I'm going to have to make up a few more, it looks like. Let's see if I can squeeze that one. Yeah, there we go. And one or two more. Uh, three more. There we go. Put you there. And I guess we'll just replace these two right here for now. Yeah, that'll work. And I can probably make a few more up. Got some hardened glass. We got two electrum ingots left. Clear that out. Hardened glass, electrum, so we can make up four more for now until we get some more electrum done. Good. We'll have some uh, redstone, destabilized redstone saved up for us too. Awesome. There we go. So we got all these guys hooked up. All we gotta do is keep this filled with coal, and that should be a good source of power for us for a while. There we go. We'll just grab another stack, and I should keep those guys full for a good bit. And this also produces a sulfur, too, so um, what could we actually use that sulfur for? We can use that to make a leadstone flux capacitor. Um, we can also use it to make gunpowder. And we can use that in the crafting of our advanced RE batteries. Nice. That works for me. Alright, pulverized coal. Making ourselves up our liquefacted coal. Awesome. So I'm pretty sure all this is doing now is just working on trying to fill up all the machines. And then the uh, leadstone energy cells should be filling up. So this is probably just about done in here. Actually, that's not getting power, so... Why are you not getting power? I think this side needs to be an output. Or will that work? Yep, I think that might have been it. Yeah, there we go. Just had the cables hooked up wrong. Awesome. Well, guys, that's going to about do it for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, or tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, we'll see you then. Goodbye.